I'm sort of halfway between craft and art in what I do. And most of my medium for the last probably 20 years has been something to do with wood, either painted wood or carved and painted wood or carved, painted and gilded wood. Do you kind of see how painstaking and boring this is? You know, every time I do, I have to go back the other direction and you know, clean up the cut. There's some improvisation involved in all this, you know, because if, you, if you're too academic or too straight all the time, it's kind of boring, you know, so you want it to be visually stimulating in some ways. This one is kind of like, like real rainforesty, moldy, and like a wetland kind of mushy ground, bark, flowers, patterns in water. They're not just random. It's like a coastal rainforest, Oregon coastal rainforest. I like doing one really over the top piece for each show I do. This is for next year's show. To me, water is very metallic. So that's, that's why I put a lot of the silver on there. It's like looking at a, a pond with lots of life in it. At the same time, more about kind of a euphoric mental state of some kind. Life would be sort of dull without altered states of reality. At the same time, I'm not really a hippie, more like a beatnik. My mom was a musician and sort of made us be exposed to art, the arts. The relationship between music and art, and I learned that connection really early on, and sort of the importance of art. You know, man does not live by bread alone, kind of that idea. I started drawing when I was like 13 and 14, and that era was really amazing too. You know, the discovery of, you know, like the creative process and the direct line between the brain and the hand. This one is done from solid mahogany. And when I use the mahogany, usually I don't paint it because it's really expensive and it's a beautiful wood. And in this case, I stained it slightly. And then I just put on the copper. I really liked it just like this and I just left it. In some ways, it's my favorite piece. And sometimes the best things happen by accident. <sighs> I actually really like this building, the Capitol building. It's a really unique piece of architecture. 30s brutalism, kind of like Ayn Rand kind of stuff. You know, the Capitol has that gold leaf man on the top, and when I'm all done, when it's all dry, I'm gonna put that on. This is gilding. It's metal, thin metal, taken from solid metal and pounded down until it's like thinner than foil. But it's still real metal, it's not paint you literally glue the metal on top of the paint. Ready for the drum roll, that's real gold. 23 karat, it's fairly tricky to put on because it's so incredibly thin that if you don't put it on right, it just turns into dust. The idea for this came from Short Sand Beach. There was this moment of, you know, cosmic moment where the sun was going down, you know, those amazing cool cigarette moments. <laughs> almost corny, but it's all at the same time, it's real. And this is real gold too, by the way. I think there's something really primally appealing about really simple ideas like that. There's no BS to it. It's just circle to square, blue to orange, sun, sunflower, nothing else, nothing more. I'm not really interested anymore in doing negative artwork because I think the world is so negative that I want my art to be sort of lift people to another higher dimension. I mean, to me, there's really no other purpose to life except somehow service to other people, and my way of doing it is by doing this. 